This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm so glad this movie is rated R. I, I, I kept thinking that as I watched this movie, as I watched James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. I was so happy that this movie had an R rating because we've been through this DC franchise. We've been through this Suicide Squad verse, starting with the original Suicide Squad, a boring, schlocky PG-13 nightmare. It's so boring. They fight like black goo monsters. You can't tell what's going on. It looks terrible. Then we had an even bigger joke. We had Harley Quinn's Birds of Prey, where we got to watch Harley Quinn doing cartwheels and spin kicks. It's like a joke. She has like a confetti gun. And then we get the Suicide Squad. What's happening? What's in this movie? Harley Quinn has machine guns. And she shoots people to death. Harley Quinn is stabbing people with a javelin. You got a peacemaker. You got, uh, what's his name? Bloodshot, deadshot, does not matter. Point is, he's killing everybody, okay? There is straight up gore in this movie. And it's not just, and let me be clear, it's not just a mindless blood fest. It's not like some stupid, crappy, you know, direct-to-video gore monster, whatever. It's, it's stylish. James Gunn. Is a genius. Like, he's a genius. I was watching this movie, and I'm like, James Gunn is the Wes Anderson of murdering people right now. Like, this is what I want this man to make till the end of time. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, sure. Let's do that. And then I want James Gunn. No more franchise movies. Just go out, make crazy horror movies, crazy action movies, whatever else. And again, cut people's heads off, cut people in half, have a big shark, you know, eating people whole, ripping them apart. That's what I want. This was beautiful. This movie is uh, fantastic. Anyone who doesn't like this movie is a, a big dumb jerk. I hate to say it. And I'm already worried. I'm worried there's going to be some of these critics. There's a certain subset of critics who get way too in-depth in with this. Oh, it's plot holes. Blah, 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 and it, it doesn't make sense. Okay, because there's like some scenes where you're like, okay, well, maybe they shouldn't have survived that. Or like maybe, you know, they're a little too exposed. They're not taking cover. But the point is that it's stylish, exciting violence. It doesn't have to be 100% realistic. Again, you have a man who's a giant shark. You have, you have, you know, people with superpowers. I won't tell you who the, who the villain is, but it's a crazy monster, okay? Like, none of this stuff is the realm of realism. I need you to go with it. People are going to go watch this movie. Just focus on the insane, exciting visual spectacle for what it is. The other thing I want to mention, the comedy works so well. I went back. I'm, I'm re-watching the original Suicide Squad for a, for a thing I might be working on. And all the jokes suck. You can tell that whoever wrote that movie does not does is not a comedian. It's not funny. Meanwhile, you have James Gunn, a guy who got his start working for Troma with Tromeo and Juliet. We know he can do comedy with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and it's perfect for Suicide Squad. It's actually funny. It made me think again about all the bad jokes from the original Suicide Squad. Captain Boomerang with his what pink uni stuffed unicorn. Uh, I can't even remember because the jokes just fell so flat in that movie. In this movie, like, 90, 95% of the jokes land. They're great. Uh, James Gunn, again, he's a freaking genius, this guy. Suicide Squad, look, I'm not going to do spoilers, but I got to say, you got to see this movie. I loved it. I had, a, I had a heck of a time. Every character you like, every single character is good. There is there is no character who falls by the wayside, even d dispendable guys. And that's another thing I want to mention. The original Suicide Squad. Did anyone die in that movie? I think Pyro, like, disappears. How do you make a movie called Suicide Squad without killing these people off uh, in mass? I guess that, what do you call it? The guy, they introduce a guy in the original Suicide Squad. What was his name? Slipknot, and he dies 15 minutes later. No, 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 no. You need to kill half the cast. You need to go hard. They're called the Suicide Squad. The whole idea is this is a gang of, you know, dispendable uh, jerks who, if they die off, uh, whatever. I mean, that's just part of the thing. And James Gunn, again, goes hard in the paint. He goes hard in the paint. Don't fall in love with anybody in this movie because I can't guarantee they're going to stick around. You're gonna see. You're gonna see some heads popping off. You're gonna see some people getting stabbed in the face. Like, he, don't fall in love with nobody. 
All right? and But it is fun because you are rooting for some of these guys. You're like, God, I hope he makes it through. I hope she gets there. Okay? And a couple of them get through, but a lot of them don't. And that's great. That's good. That's good. That's what this needed to be. It needed to be an over-the-top, uh, gory, murder, uh, action-packed freaking thing where everybody's dying, crazy carnage all over the place, R-rated, everybody's swearing, cussing, making crazy jokes about spooging and dicks and whatever the fuck else. It's great. And that's what you needed to do. You needed to do that. You needed to go hard. You needed to kill off as many freaking people as you could. And James Gunn did it. He got it done. He got it done. He took it home. James Gunn, again, I got to say this. All right, you, you, you made the money on the franchise films. You probably got, what, a couple hundred million dollars in the bank. Now's the time. This is your Christopher Nolan uh, reward spree. Okay, Christopher Nolan, he does the Dark Knight films. Banks the banks the several hundred million dollars. Warner Brothers puts him on a leash and says, make whatever you want. As long as you do it for us. Go make stupid movies about traveling through time and bullets going backwards and whatever else. Have fun with it. Okay, and James Gunn, now's your time. You earned your way. You earned it. You earned the right. All right, nobody can nobody can shut you down now. All right, so now that you got a license to make whatever you want, enough of the franchise stuff. The franchise stuff is fun. Suicide Squad is great. Okay, but I think now I want to see I want to see an original James Gunn property. I want to see more Brightburn. I want Scraps to stop interrupting my god dang reviews. Scraps, get out of here, you freaking cat. Anyway, that's my review of the Suicide Squad. I had a great time. Again, no spoilers. Maybe we'll do a spoiler review later. I don't know. But uh, let me know. Have you seen the movie yet? You probably haven't. It comes out on Friday. But uh, let me know. Are you excited for it? Have you watched the trailers? What are you hoping to see? Is James Gunn the savior of Hollywood? He might be. He very well might be. I love this guy. Gunn, you did a good job. I love you, buddy. More, more films from you. I'm excited. Suicide Squad. You got to see it. The Suicide Squad. Don't watch the original. Terrible movie. All right. <laughs>